we got spy photos of the 2021 F-150. Yep, the new Ford half-ton will come out sometime this year, or early spring. It's going to be unveiled in just a couple weeks. But before that becomes unveiled, let's go ahead and check it out what it's going to look like. Yeah, we got these spy photos. There's still some camouflage and stuff, but we can pick out some details on the interior and the exterior. And in this case, we're looking at an F-150 Platinum, which is their top trim level. So it's going to be really interesting to see how much luxury they're going to put in their half-ton. Oh, if this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Tim with Pickup Truck Plus SUV Talk on this channel. You'll find truck and SUV news, reviews, interesting stories, and lots of cool stuff. So hit subscribe and stick around. It's a good time. Let's go ahead and I'm going to put the images on the screen. And we'll talk about the exterior and interior. And we'll talk about what I know as far as powertrains and when it's going to be, the, like I said, debut will be June 25th. So, well, I don't know to hide that detail. That's coming in a couple weeks. But let me, I'll talk about powertrains, talk about kind of everything I know about this upcoming Ford F-150. So let's go ahead and get to it. Okay, let's talk about the spy photos. And as you can see, this interior has got some engineers inside of it. So if you don't know what spy photos are, it's where these photographers sit around different places outside of like testing areas and things. And they get photos of trucks with camouflage before they get unveiled and they sell them to me. So I bought these for the channel. So I was hoping you guys would appreciate them and maybe I'd make a little bit of profit or at least break even. So this is what that's going on with these spy photos. And so you can see the laptop set up in here. This engineer is running through some diagnostic stuff. You see it's kind of this cord running to the OBT, OBD2 sensor. And it's kind of all plugged in. So he's kind of just running some diagnostics from the truck. But the biggest news for us is this interior. And I'm going to go a little bit zoomed in. And you can see this, this screen. Now people have theorized it's a 10 to 12 inch screen. And the big news to me is that you know Ram's done a vertical screen. And this is a horizontal screen. So it's... It's interesting. I think I like the way this sits a little bit better. It's not so um, big in, as far as the interior looks, and it just feels like it fits a little bit better to overall feel of the interior. I, I, I'm a big fan of that screen, so let me keep zoomed in here. Sorry, I hit the wrong key. Um, as we can see, we have the, the HVAC down below. We have the knobs for the radio. We do have a knob here. It looks like maybe a, a sport mode kind of button or something like that. We do have a uh, trailer brake controller, and then we have the trailer brake a, a backup assist button there too. It could be a four-wheel drive button there as well. And we'll work our way around the dash. We'll take a bigger, closer look at that. There's also been a lot of discussion about the shifter, whether the shifter, there's some like rumors it was going to fold flat. And it was kind of interesting, so it's a little bit different. But as we come around here, we can look, zoom in a little bit. I think the big news to me is I can see the heated steering wheel button, heated seat button, and cooled seat button. Sometimes these manufacturers take these buttons out and they put them inside the system here, of the like Sync 3 system and, and different things. And I'm a big fan of buttons, so I, I really like those that those buttons are back. Easy, hop in the cab, press the button, heated seat, boom, move it along. And that's uh, that just makes more sense. As we come around here, we can see the dash. We can see this is a platinum version. We have a lot of chrome. So we have chrome over the HVAC um, vent over here. We have chrome around the IP. And so we can see a digital dash. And it looks like it's going to be full digital, no analog at all. And uh, so that for those people that want to... Things will break and whatever. Well, sorry, that's that's what the industry is heading toward digital dashes. As we come around, a really cool photo around the other side. We can see the other view going in, which is pretty cool. I never really get this view when I get these spy photos, and I really like this view. And we can see platinum on the steering wheel. We can see the steering wheel's, you know, it's got the handholds on it for the, the kind of the palm rest there, and the steering wheel looks a little bit different. Um, we have the interior. You can see that screen. I think that screen just fits really well. You can see over the engineer's shoulder. He is running some diagnostic stuff. You can see where that's going on. And see, you can see the screen. I'm going to zoom in one more time to the screen. As we look a little bit close to the screen, we can see 16.8 mile per gallon. You know, so, you know, maybe he's running around town and, I, you know, testing it, whatever. I doubt he's worried about trying to get the best fuel economy. So 16, 18, maybe that's the 5 liter V8 or, or something going on there. But I want to take that to um, heart as far as the fuel economy. You can see the digital dash. See everything digital as what's going on. And you can see as far as... Like I said, there's all digital. Now, as far as what it is, the Platinum, F-150 Platinum. Now, this was part of the door fender uh, on the fender next to the door. It's typically where this Platinum badge is, so you can see that new badge. It looks kind of beat up. I'm sure they want to polish that up a little bit. And then as far as let's go to the exterior, the exterior, the biggest news is you have the bigger grill. As far as not bigger, new design grill, I should say. You have kind of a two-tone. You have a chrome with like a matted chrome on here, like a brushed, chrome, brushed aluminum. And so it's a very interesting look in this Platinum. You do have the LED lights and daytime running lights there as well and fog lamps. And so it's I kind of like this front end a lot. I, I think this is a really good look and I'm a big fan of that. We have lower fascia in chrome. We have the ho or 
horizontal tow hooks, which is kind of a thing these days, horizontal or vertical, and then we have the uh, air dam down there as well. So I think they've done a good job with this. I, I really like this front end. As we move around the side, we can see more of the side of the truck. Um, you can see that we have chrome to door handles. You see the tow mirrors on here with the chrome on there as well. And uh, as we kind of move along, he's got a lot of side photos here. And so I don't know that the cab is much different. Um, looks like the cab length is about the same. We still have the little drop down on the passenger and driver's side window. And we have the chrome coming out the back side. Uh, comes up a little bit. It's kind of a sleek kind of look there, sort of squared off. And so it looks like the cab is about the same. Oh, if you're wondering about the antenna, the antenna is still the best way to get AM and FM radio signal. And then the shark, shark fin on top. Looks like there's two of these. We'll get around the back to take a look at that. Um, that's going to be for your XM and for your Wi-Fi and such. With these, these trucks are adding Wi-Fi to them, if you didn't know that. And we come around the back, we can see the little tailgate, tail, tailgate, <laughs> tailpipe back here. Let's talk about powertrains. So they're going to have a 3.5 liter EcoBoost. They're going to keep that. They're going to keep the 2.7. They're going to keep the 5.0 liter V8. There's conversations about the high output EcoBoost, which I'll link to a video above. I have some video about that. Um, that's a question mark right now. There's questions whether they're going to keep that around, or they going to change it to the 5 liter, or does the Godzilla 7.3 liter make an entrance in the F-150 as far as for the Raptor and the top of trim level limited, like they did with the high output. That's a lot of conversation right now. I'm not sure where that's heading. And then there's a diesel version as well. There's a 3 liter diesel they offer, and uh, the, so far the news is there's not a lot of excitement around that, and it, it's to be determined. They're still working on it, and it looks like 10 speed throughout. So throughout all the engines can be 10 speed throughout. 10 speed automatic, by the way, no manual transmission. As we come around the sides, you can see the length of it. This is the crew cab with the five and a half foot back box. We get along the back side, and uh, maybe I went too fast, but the back side there's no the tailgate step like GM has. There's no different step over here. It looks like they're going to stick with their tailgate step system inside the tailgate that folds down, the ladder that they pull out. Um, I don't see any changes there. It looks like the tail lamp maybe got a little bit different design. It looks a little bit different to me. I could be wrong on that, but it looks a little bit different. And so there's looks like there's some changes there. And as you can see, this, this camouflage all the way around it, that means that they're maybe hiding something underneath that that's a change. And so I think they're probably have to, they're going to spell out forward or something in this, in this tail, tailgate. And it looks like the front hood will be changed a little bit. But we can see it's like a blue or black color truck. And then we have the rear window in the back. Now that slider window will open and close by the controller inside. And I'm curious about, it looks like there's two of these like shark fins in the back. So maybe they split up the XM with the Wi-Fi or one's Wi-Fi XM kind of thing going on. It's kind of interesting. Or maybe they're just testing it. I don't, I don't know. So that's 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 changes there, like I said, as far as the exterior and interior. And the big news to me is going to be the new front end. That's going to be the change with new grill and the new big screen inside. But we'll find out in a couple weeks what else is new on this 2021 Ford F-150. There you go. There are my thoughts on a 2021 Ford F-150. And we'll find out in just a few weeks if I'm wrong, if I'm right. You know, a lot of cool stuff. I enjoy this kind of stuff. We'll see if that works out that way. And go ahead and comment below. Let me know your thoughts. Are you excited for it? Is it kind of an eh? Do you think it's going to be really cool? Again, let me know. I do read the comments. And yes, I'm short. I'm fat. I get it. I hear it. I understand. Uh, also, check out this video over here. Really cool stuff. And website down below for more stuff on trucks and SUVs. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you down the road.